One of the most exceptional female athletes in the world is Jamaica's Shelly Ann Fraser Price. The sprinter has recently been recognized for her efforts in the sporting world by being one of the finalists for the 2022 World Female Athlete of the Year. In this video, we'll be going over a brief history of the award, how Fraser Price was selected as a finalist, whether or not any of her teammates made the list, and who the other finalists are. Also in this video, we'll be covering the amazing story of a fan who had a chance encounter with a sprinting icon. So stick around to the end to find out what happened. First off, who else has won the award in the past? The award for World Athlete of the Year has a prestigious history that goes back to 1988. It focuses on athletes in track and field, cross country, road running, and race walking. Each year, the award is given out to one man and one woman who were outstanding in their respective sports. The award is given out by World Athletics, which organizes many of the events in these sports. In 2005, they also began giving out the Rising Star of the Year Award, which is also usually given out to one man and one woman. Last year, the Athlete of the Year Awards were given out to Norwegian track athlete Karsten Warholm and Jamaican sprinter Elaine thompson Hera, one of the most famous athletes to win the award and the only competitor to earn it at impressive six times is Jamaica's Usain Bolt. There have only been six men and three women who have won the award multiple times. The subject of this video, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, has already been awarded it in the past, in 2013 alongside Usain Bolt. If she were to win it again this year, she would be only the 10th person to win the award multiple times, being only the fourth woman to ever do so. By winning the award a second time, nine years after her first in 2013, this would also mark the longest time between award victories for any athlete in the history of the prize. Whether or not Fraser Price will come out victorious once again remains to be seen. How exactly was the shortlist decided upon, and when will we find out who won the prestigious award? So, how are are the finalists determined and when will the winner be announced? The nominees for the finalists were largely determined by athletic performance in the past year. There was steep competition as you can imagine and even just being nominated is a sign that an athlete is at the top of their field. Once the nominees are sorted out, it comes down to a vote to determine who will be in the group of finalists. This however is not a vote organized by a small committee. Instead, three different parties all get a say on who will be on the shortlist, including the public. The other two parties who get a say in the decision are the World Athletics Council and the World Athletics Family. These two parties cast their votes for who they think should be a finalist by email. The public, on the other hand, was asked to vote through World Athletics on social media. This was the year with the highest vote count in the history of the award, with 1.3 million people casting a vote for their favorite competitor. The votes, of course, are not evenly weighted. The council gets the majority of the say in the decision, with their votes counting for 50% of the result. The family and public's votes, on the other hand, were equally weighted at 25% each. Voting for everyone closed at the end of October. Fans will have to wait roughly another month to find out which athletes will be taking home the top prize. It has been announced that the winners will be revealed in early December through the World Athletics social media. This will all be a part of the World Athletics Awards 2022. Although we know Fraser Price is a finalist and that Elaine thompson Hara won last year, are there any other Jamaican athletes on the shortlist? Next, were any of Fraser Price's teammates nominated for the award? Even the most casual fans of track and field understand that Jamaica is often the country to beat. One needs only look at Usain Bolt's insane six victories of the World Athlete of the Year award to understand this, especially with Thompson Harrow winning the award last year and Fraser Price winning it in the past as well. You might expect that the shortlist for the award would be packed with Jamaican talent. There are certainly plenty of athletes nearly as deserving of a spot on the list but this year, no other Jamaican women made the cut. This doesn't mean they weren't incredibly close, however. One notable athlete was Jamaica's Sharika Jackson, who was the world champion in the 200-meter dash in 2022. She was a nominee for the award, but did not make it onto the shortlist along with Fraser Price. Another Caribbean athlete who nearly made the shortlist was Shawnee miller Weibo from the Bahamas, who would win the 400-meter world championship in 2022. As you can see, the final five was very nearly stacked with Caribbean Caribbean athletes, but Fraser Price was the only woman who would end up making the cut. With that being said, who were some of the other athletes that made the awards shortlist? So who are the other finalists for the award? The finalists for World Female Athlete of the Year represent a wide array of sports and countries. Let's get into the four other women who are up for the award alongside Fraser Price. First up is Toby Amason from Nigeria. She was nominated for the award after taking home the World Championship in the 100-meter hurdles in 2020. 
2022. Alongside this, she also won the Diamond League, Commonwealth, and African Championships in the same event. To top off an already amazing year, Amasan would also set the world record in the 100-meter hurdles at 12.12 seconds. Next up is Kimberly Garcia of Peru. Competing in a much different sport from the other women on the list, she would take home the world championship in the 20 and 35 kilometer race walks. This would make her the first Peruvian to ever win a World Athletics Championship medal, as well as earning the South American record for a race walk double. She would also earn the distinction of being the bronze medalist for the 20 kilometer World Athletics Race Walking Team Championships. Next up is Sydney McLaughlin, an American athlete who won the world championship in the 400 meter hurdle and the 400 meter relay. She also set two new world records in the 400 meter hurdle at 51.41 seconds and 50.68 seconds respectively. Finally is Unimar Rojas of Venezuela. Rojas was both the indoor and outdoor triple jump world champion in 2022. She would also beat her own world record in the event at 15.74 meters this year. Now that we've gone over all the other athletes achievements, what did Fraser Price accomplish this year? Next up, what did Fraser Price do in 2022 to earn the nomination? Having arguably the best year out of any of these women and maybe the best year of her entire career was Shelly Ann Fraser Price. She would go on to win her fifth gold medal in the 100 meter dash world championships as well as being the Diamond League's world champion. This is not to mention that she had the world leading pace of 10.62 seconds in the race and ran a total of seven sub 10.7 second races in her season. Although she has some stiff competition on the short list, being one of the greatest female sprinters of all time, nobody will be surprised if Fraser Price walks away with the award for a second time. Now that we've covered everything there is to know about the award, here's a fun story about a fan who had a once-in-a-lifetime encounter with the sprinter. Finally, hear the incredible story of a lucky fan's chance encounter with the sprinter. It was truly Keithy Cunningham's lucky day when he met Shelly Ann Fraser Price. This is because the Jamaican man would not only get to meet one of the greatest athletes of our time, but take home 100,000 Jamaican dollars in the process. Now, for our American viewers, this isn't as much as it may seem. With 100,000 Jamaican dollars being worth roughly 650 U.S. dollars. The cash was given out in a Grace Kennedy Money Services and Western Union giveaway titled 10 Million Reasons to Receive. Fraser Price, being a Grace Kennedy ambassador, just happened to be visiting the GK1 digital store he was going to on the day he received his winnings. Cunningham would refer to her as the Great Shelley when asked about the event. Fraser Price congratulated her fans, saying, This is so awesome. Just like that, you won $100,000. I'm so happy for you. I'm sure this came at the best time for you. Cunningham has since gone on to say that he will be a happy Western Union customer for the rest of his life. The photo of the two together sees Cunningham beaming after getting to meet one of the greatest sprinters of all time. Do you think Fraser Price will take home the award? Have you followed the sprinter's career closely up to this point? What do you think of the other athletes nominated? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Thanks for watching, and as always, we'll see you next time.